My Band Book was Timeline by Michael Crichton. A team of archaeologists are studying two medieval cities called Castleguard and La Roque. The team leader, Professor Edward Johnson, is suspicious of their financer, ITC, because he thinks they know more about the two cities than they do, so he goes to their headquarters in New Mexico to investigate. While he is away, his students made some baffling discoveries. One was a lens from the professor's glasses that was found in a room that they hadn't discovered yet, and the other was a message on the wall that read, Help me, followed by 4 slash 7 slash 1357. After the discovery, the students are called by ITC to go to the headquarters. The team reach the headquarters and are given information that is shocking to them. Apparently, the company has mastered a way to make people go through different dimensions, which lets them go back in time. They also tell them that Dr. Johnston has gone back and is now missing. ITC wants the four students to go back in time and find him. Three of the four students go back in time with two military escorts. They all step onto a transit pad, which shrinks them down, which allows them to travel through the dimensions. Once they arrive in the year 1357, they are almost immediately attacked by knights on horseback. One of the escorts gets her head chopped off, and the other pulls the pin on a grenade, but then gets shot by arrows. And then one of the horses accidentally steps on a switch that would have sent them all back, but it only sent back the escort with the grenade. So when he got back, the grenade exploded and the transit pad was destroyed, and the three students could not return. In the midst of all the attacking, one of the students, Chris, runs away in fear and gets separated from the group. He then meets a boy and he helps him to evade the knights. Once they declare that they got away, Chris accidentally says that he is royalty to the boy. The boy then immediately takes him to the castle at Castle Guard and it is revealed that the boy is actually a girl named Lady Claire, who is also escaping from the horseman, but in particular, the horseman's leader, Sir Guy. Once they get to the castle, Sir Guy challenges Chris to a joust by dropping his glove on the ground, and Chris picks it up and gives it to him. In other words, he accepted without knowing. Chris somehow manages to defeat Sir Guy, and then Lord Oliver, ruler of Castle Guard, orders that Chris is sentenced to death for humiliating Sir Guy. It is later revealed that Dr. Johnston is with Lord Oliver because Lord Oliver thinks that Dr. Johnston knows a way to get into the impenetrable castle of La Roque. Dr. Johnston said he did not know a way to get in, but he could help Oliver make a weapon to win the battle. Chris manages to escape from the prison with the help of Lady Claire, and Sir Guy and his knight Robert de Care start to follow them. At this point, the battle between the two cities has begun, and Dr. Johnson had helped Lord Oliver make enough powder to defeat LaRoque. While all this is happening, back in the present, ITC was working on fixing the machine to get the group back. Chris and Kate find a way into LaRoque, but they were being followed by Sir Guy and Robert de Care, so Lord Oliver's men stormed into the castle. Kate and Chris went to where Lord Oliver had Dr. Johnson to rescue him. When they had got there, they grabbed Dr. Johnson and ran, but Lord Oliver called for Robert de Care to stop them. But Kate, in a bold move, set him on fire with the powder that Dr. Johnson made. They all ran off and returned to the present. For my research topic, I will be doing castles. The word castle comes from the Latin word castellum, which basically means fortified place. Castles were usually built by bricks, and they were meant to protect the people that were inside of it from oncoming attacks. Not only that, but castles were meant to show someone's rank and how wealthy they were. Castles were usually built on hills or in the middle of a big body of water so that it would be easier to defend them. Most castles had moats, ramparts, high walls, curtain walls, flanking towers, battlements, machicolations, gateway defenses, murder holes, round towers, and arrow and gun loops.